looking at this unit, it's um, dimming the lights when it starts up. Um, it's in a little shed, so there's not a lot of headroom. Um, anyway, we checked the capacitors, and uh, I don't know if you might have watched the other one video I'd done. We'd changed these previously, and they're, they're all check out good. Um, but what it does, when it goes to start, it sits there for half a second or so and hums and then fires up. Um, which, you know, is, is does look to be capacitor full. Um, but as they check out OK, I want my attention to turn to the uh, the little relay that, that switches the uh, start and run capacitors out of circuit. Th this run capacitor is permanently connected to the uh, start winding and the two start capacitors are switched out of um, the circuit once the compressor is sort of up to speed and that's that's done by this little relay um, once, once the compressor is up to speed there's enough voltage on the start winding to energise that coil that pulls in the little plunger and that opens the contacts now I've put the meter across there um, and there's no continuity between them, so when it's starting, it's, it is starting without the benefit of the start capacitors. It's, um, which is why I think it's struggling. Um, you have to be very careful when you've got these um, suspect components that if you poke around too much, you can disturb the fault. You know, if I went in there wrenching on the wires, you know, you could end up actually making that contact good again. Um, and you, you can lose the fault before you've found it but anyway that, that's what that's looking like um, looks like the contacts burnt it's probably not there yeah, you can see it's not you can see there's a bit more movement there it's not quite touching um, so we'll put a new relay on there and see how it goes that's how uh, got a new relay on the van um, That is the two connections uh, where your start winding is. Um, and this here is that coil, the winding, that pulls the um, uh, relay in. And we'll compare that to the old one when we, when we swap them out. Right, that's got the new relay on there. This is the old one. That's across the two contacts, open circuit. And I'm not sure which one of these is the. There we go. That'll be those ones. I'm not sure one of these is the coil winding. Not getting a very good connection on that either. Um, that's probably 10 or 12, well, it's more than 10 years old, probably 12 years, I think that's been on there. If I can remember when these were installed. Power back on. I'll just give the LP switch a quick flick. Started up straight away.